What's up, guys? I'm the black one here, and here we go. Oh, well, that was one hell of a start, huh? <laughs> I didn't think I'd die from that. Wow. That was quite the fall, too. Ouch. That looked really painful. Um, Let's see if we can not die this time. Um, Welcome to Skyrim. Another episode, another day. Um, Not another story, I'm afraid. I still haven't... Uh, Still haven't had anything exciting happen, really. Um, actually, I do have a little something that I'm going to be going to tonight. Um, so I do like jazz, and uh, it's one of my favorite genres of music. And there is a jazz artist, and her name is Esperanza Spaulding. And I'm actually going to go see her tonight, and see her live. And uh, I will be sure to let you guys know... Ooh, that fire looks warm. Mm. Um, I'll be sure to let you guys know how that goes, because, uh, I don't know, that'll be a good story, don't you guys think? <laughs> um, I, I do have to go uh, downtown for it, and parking is going to be very interesting, because it's in this really old theater, and there's no parking lot within, like, five miles, just street parking, so it's definitely going to be a gamble. Um, let's go and level up, I forgot to do that. When we are at the top of the mountain. Let's definitely health. We need more health. You're such a weak warrior. Let's see. What can we be increasing? I totally went, like, backwards. <laughs> um. Cost two. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Standing power attacks have a do 25% damage. Oh, damage bonus. Ooh, that actually might be worth getting. Um, what about... What's, what's our heavy armor like? Oh, it's so weak. Oh, we're such a... We're so weak. Hey, look, it's the Space Corps <laughs> from Portal 2. Um, you know, now I see why I haven't done any of this yet. Maybe we will do... Archery? No, we are a warrior this time. Hmm... Yeah, no mage skills. Let's just go ahead and keep doing... Uh, keep doing this two-handed. I guess we'll save this in case we hit 60 soon. We'll save that perk. Um, Where is our graybeard friend? But yeah, like I, like I was saying, it should be, uh, should be an interesting concert. And um, I'm looking forward to it for sure. And I totally missed the entrance. I always do this when I'm coming over this way. Oh, we can go right here. Cheating. Oh, he's sleeping. I don't think I've ever talked to him while he was sleeping before. Oh, and of course he woke up right before I got the chance to talk to him. Okay, I do not have a light spell, so it's going to be kind of dark, and I apologize. So you spoke to but here we go. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? Nope, but he told me how to find it. So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. Yep. Now he's gonna flip. He's... N I, I, I know he's not gonna like this. <laughs> we have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves... No, I, I guess he's not too angry. ...with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Okay, thank you. That is all I needed to know. See ya. <laughs> sky, guard you. No, the sky doesn't need to guard me. I've got Uthgrid. She's much more reliable than the sky. <laughs> Ah, uh, the fact that she has saved... Oh yeah, this is a mod I installed right here. See these, um, these Elder Scrolls? You can take these, and you can wear them on your back. So let's see, let's, let's, uh, let's take this one that has no enchantment on it so that we're not cheating. Um, where is the Elder Scroll we seek? There we go. That's kind of cool, huh? Maybe we should be, let's let's uh, let's try to make this fit the lore. So let's take this off. Ooh, take it off. We're gonna take it off for now, and um, 
when we get the scroll, we'll put it on. How about that? That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. It is now time to... Let's, let's check our journal. Learn the location of the Elder Scroll. Oh, I didn't learn it from him. Oh, I guess he said Mage's College. Right. Which is up here. Which is Winterhold, which we've never been to before. So, it is journey time. Let's just go ahead and run down to the stables and white run, and then we'll go ahead and ride over to Windhelm, and then we'll go up to Winterhold from there, since uh, we've already discovered uh, white run and uh, Winterhold, or er, not Winterhold, um, Windhelm. That's what I meant to say. I said Winterhold tonight. I meant to say Windhelm, and I did not save it before I went off this cliff edge, which was a really bad idea. Oh, looks like we'll be okay. We can go right here. Um, this is this is where a lot of people do their whole jumping off uh, the throat of the world with the horse thing. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> um, which I, I absolutely love those videos. People have done like uh, there's this one video I watched. It was called a cabalanche <laughs> instead of an avalanche. It was a avalanche of cabbages. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was really entertaining. Matter of fact, why don't we uh, why don't we do something like that at the end of this series? <laughs> That would be most entertaining, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, Skyrim. It makes me want to go skiing. That's what it makes me want to do. I, I grew up in a state where skiing is, is pretty much second nature, so... Um, this game definitely... I think that's one of the reasons why I like this game so much. Um, I mean, I really liked Oblivion anyway, but... Uh, just something about it, something about this game. It always, it, it keeps bringing me back, you know? Um, I remember there, I, I beat the game, and then I didn't play it, didn't even touch it for like two months, and I came back, and it was like a whole new game. I didn't remember what I was doing on my character, so I made a new character, and that's just, ten, that tends to be my pattern when I play these kind of games. I play the game, forget about the character so much so that I have, that I, well, not have to, but I want to start again. And then I do, and then uh, I regret it because, man, leveling, smithing, and enchanting more than once is just, it's not fun. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, let's see if we can, ooh, did you see that fish? That was cool. Let's see if we can jump onto that rock from here. Ooh, didn't make it. Ooh, I thought I was going to be taken away for sure by the crazy current. It's okay, I'm a black one. I'm a black one. I've got mad hops. <laughs> um, but yeah, that tends to be my pattern with these games. I play them, have the character, then forget about the character. Let's pick some flowers. And that thistle. Ouch. Ah, thank you, Gorilla Vanilla, for the armor suggestion. I really do like the blade's armor. I wonder what the next tier up is from Blade's Armor. I don't really remember, to be totally honest. I've, hmm. I don't use uh, heavy armor enough to know all the tiers right off the top of my head. Well, let's see. Well, there's stats, I should say. Because I know it goes, let's see, steel, right? Here goes iron, and then it goes steel. And then it goes dwemer, right? And then, um, what's the next one? Orcish. Orc ar armor is absolutely awesome. Oh, I was walking right past him. And then there's Ebony, of course. And then there is, um, where are we going? Windhelm? Um, and then there's Daedric. And then there's Dragon. Dragon bone. Dragon bone armor, which is awesome. I'm fine. I'm glad that they added dragon bone weapons to the game. Uh, you know there have been mods already for dragon bone weapons, and in my opinion, some of those weapons are actually better than the ones that they have in the vanilla game, like texture-wise and everything. But there are some of the dragon weapons that I really like. Like uh, I do really like the one-handed sword, and I also like the. Hmm. I really do like the two-handed axe too. It looks really. It's sleek but it still has that brutal feel to it, so definitely wins me over there. Um, ah, so much brighter than it was in uh, 
Whiterun, I love it. Ooh, the Khajiit. I love the Khajiits. Where is, uh... You've got to be kidding me. Is that a dragon? Oh, man. He is going to burn me like a little, I don't know, hot dog. He overcooked this hot dog. <laughs> Do you guys get it? Because <laughs> uh, I'm black. <laughs> oh, this character loads arrows so slow. I really hope nobody dies. Wow. I think somebody's gonna die. Whoa, where's he going? Come back here. Oh, is he attacking the guards now too? Probably. Oh, this guy is such a spaz. I cannot, cannot tell where he's going. Oof. I don't think I got him. Ah, good. We're, we're done using those Forsworn arrows. I, I really don't like Forsworn arrows. They're so terrible. Oh, hello there. You taste your own medicine, dragon. Oh, look at us. We're pushing a dragon. Ugh. Has he killed anybody yet? I haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, no. Arrows equipped. Uh, I do have a mod that unequips arrows. Ooh, that's not good, actually. I don't have very many arrows left. need to conserve my arrows. This is my last batch right here. There he is. Come on, land. Or not. Be a little weak sauce. Bad word that I'm not going to say. Okay, good. We got him. He's going to be coming down. We're going to go ahead and quick save it. I don't care if somebody died. I usually try to make sure nobody dies, but this dragon... There we go. Smack him like that. Oh, come on. Use your Thoom. Oh, no. Okay, that is why we quick save it. <laughs> I was trying to um, use my fire breath, but it didn't uh, didn't want to do it. So that's why I was standing there. I promise I was trying to do something. I, I promise. <laughs> Let's go ahead and load up Unrelenting Force instead. There we go. Yes! Victory! Ah, oh, victory, thy name is Black One. Or I'm the Black One, rather. Okay. Okay, now we've got all this stuff. That totally not going to be able to carry. Oh, actually, I lied. We'll be able to carry it, but just barely. Let's talk to the. Let's talk to the Khajiit. So where's the old Khajiit? He's the one that usually sells stuff. I know. I don't like. I don't like Windhelm for that reason. Well, it looks like we're going to be carrying this around for a while. <laughs> but, uh, you know, dragon dragon souls are, also, are, are always good to have, always good to collect. Um, I do have a mod installed called Birds of Skyrim, and it adds birds. As you can see right here, seagulls. I don't know if these are actually in the vanilla game. They might be, but uh, that mod adds a whole bunch of birds to the game, and there's another one that adds little birds on the ground as well, so two bird mods. Makes the game a little bit more realistic. Um, you know what? It is about time that I end this episode. That was a good way to end it with a nice hot dragon f dragon fight. And, you know, me swimming in armor with my chest above the water. Yeah, that's amazing, by the way. Totally amazing. Um, 
Uthgrid too. She's a beast. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, be sure to check out the community website that I have. The link is below. Um, we do have an event going on right now that uh, basically allows... Oh, I thought it was going to be a bolt. Um, that we're, well, we're giving away Portal 2, pretty much. And... Um, just uh, if you if you are interested in winning a free copy of Portal 2, and I really am giving it away, uh, then check out the website and the event that we have going on right now. Other than that, I will see you guys next time, and thanks so much for watching. Watching, peace.